Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation, and this is part one of our installation series for DNN 7.0. In the series, we're going to have four videos. This first video will be how to configure the file system for DNN 7. After that, in the next video, we will configure the web server, or IIS. In the third video, we'll create the database and the security, the user account that will be able to access that database. And then in the fourth and final video, we'll go through the installation wizard within .NET Nuke itself. With the launch of DNN 7, some of the minimum requirements for DNN have been upgraded to newer versions. So some of the minimum requirements are the .NET Framework 4.0, where previous versions of DNN used 3.5 Service Pack 1, and even back to .NET 2.0. .NET Nuke 7 requires IIS 7.0 or higher, so that comes with Microsoft's Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008, and Windows Server 2008 R2. And then from a database perspective, we do require the SQL Server 2008. Now, as we go through the first video in the series, we're going to be setting up a website using the domain name dnndev.me. Now that domain name has been configured so that anyone in the world can use it. What it will do is it will point back to your local IP address, 127.0.0.1. That's going to allow you to set up a local installation of DNN and be able to configure IIS to run that domain name. We're going to be using the installation package of .NET Nuke. I'm going to be installing .NET Nuke Professional Edition, but the installation steps that we go through here apply to the community, the professional, and the enterprise editions of the platform. Now I'll be installing DNN locally, utilizing SQL Server 2008 Release 2 and IIS 7.5 as I'm running Windows 7. So let's go ahead and switch over to our file system and see .netnuke.com where we can go through the process of downloading the install package for DNN. So when you first go to .netnuke.com, you can click on the download option at the top of the page. This will take you to the downloads page. Now if you have never logged into the .netnuke website, you do need to go ahead and provide a email address here that will allow you to register and access the download there for .netnuke. Now on the downloads page, in the red and the blue box, you're going to find some options for installing .NET Nuke using the Web Platform Installer and Web Matrix if you want to install the Community Edition of the platform. You'll also be able to install .NET Nuke Professional Edition with a 14-day trial of our cloud hosting. You can click on the Start Trial option for that. If you want to download the install package, down beneath the red and the blue box, you'll find an Install Package option. That will allow you to download the Community Edition install package. Now I've already downloaded the Professional Edition install package and can see the zip file here in a temporary directory on my local C drive. Now the first thing you need to do when you download the install package is you need to right click and choose properties. In the properties window, you need to make sure that you do not have an unblock button. If there is an unblock button, down beneath that advanced button on the first property screen, you need to go ahead and click on that and then click OK. From here, we want to go ahead and extract the zip file. So you can once again right click on that zip file, choose Extract All, and that's going to extract it into a directory here within this temporary directory where the install package currently exists. Now while we wait for that package to go ahead and extract, I'm going to go to my C drive, and I'm going to create a location where we're going to install .NET Nuke. Now if you want, you can install .NET Nuke within the INET pub www root directory, but I'm going to create a directory here at the root of the C drive by clicking on the new folder option. I'm going to call this directory websites. I'll go ahead and navigate into that directory and click new folder again. And I'm going to create a folder now called dnndev.me, matching that domain name that we're going to be utilizing for this installation. If we go ahead and navigate into that folder, it's a brand new folder, there's nothing in that folder. So what I'm going to do is switch back over to the folder where we've extracted .NET New Professional Edition. I'm going to navigate into that extraction, and I'm going to press Control A, or using your mouse you can select all of the files there within that folder. You can then right click and choose to copy those files. And we're going to want to put those into that dnndev.me folder that we created. So those are the steps to set up our file system for an installation of .NET Nuke 7. In the next video in the series, we'll go through and configure our web server, IIS, so that the web server points to 
that folder structure and we'll be able to then go through and configure permissions on that folder structure as well. Don't forget to check out the other three videos in the installation series. You'll find links here within the video.